Good morning, friends, and welcome to another video. I just sold my Honda X80V after six months of ownership and bought a new scooter. And today I will tell you why I sold my Honda and why it has to do something with this year, a Swiss Army knife. And of course, I will show you my new scooter. I will do this while I'm riding because we have wonderful weather today, about 30 degrees. So let's talk about the reasons why I sold my Honda X80V 750. First I have to say it's an amazing bike. It's a lot of fun. The DCT, it's great. 750, enough power, nearly 60 horsepower. Suspension, great. And the reasons why I sold it are a few small reasons. They are very subjective, of course. First one is the weight. As you saw in my videos, I have a lot of uh, accessories on the Honda, like um, the side panniers, top box, crash guards, LED headlights. So a lot of stuff and, and if you put everything together, the weight is close to 260 kilograms, which is a lot. And you feel it sometimes, not when you are riding, of course not because the riding behavior is, is amazing. It's a great bike. But when you do some maneuvering and when you start and stop, like I do it very often when I'm filming or I will stop somewhere on the side, just make a short drone shot, do some motor vlogging, then it's always a little bit of work. It's, it's quite heavy to, to lift it up the bike, find a secure stand, so this was one of the small reasons why I sold it. The next one is the uh, sitting position. I was not that happy with the sitting position. I don't know why. Of course, everyone is different, different height. I have some problems with my neck, so I'm always very sensitive when it comes to sitting on a motorcycle. And I had some small problems while riding on the Honda. I don't know why, because um, I changed the seat because the seat was quite stiff at the beginning and I upholstered it and uh, had a very good seat at the end. But the seating position was different than on my other scooters. It was, I don't know, maybe the position of the arms. I got some problems with my neck, especially on longer touring. And this was a little bit painful sometimes and uh, you lose a lot of the uh, fun that you can have. Just a small point, it was not that bad, because all in all, the seating position was, was good. Handling good, perfect. But for my taste, something was missing. I don't know what. And I don't know why the problem was, because when I sat on the bike, I thought, okay, it's great, especially with the foot packs, feet a bit more back or feet to the front. On short rides, everything was perfect. When I was riding long touring, I got some problems. At the beginning I mentioned the Swiss Army knife and I think the Honda XADV is something like a Swiss Army knife on two wheels. It's not a real motorcycle, it's not a scooter, it's had, it has a little bit of both worlds. Like the, the footrest is like on a scooter, the foot position, if you don't have it on the foot pegs in the back, it's like sitting on a scooter. But then the wide handlebars, it's more like on an adventure bike. The missing tank, you lose the contact with your knees on the tank, so this is not like a motorcycle, this is more like a scooter. And this Swiss Army knife, this SUV on two wheels, it can nearly do everything. You can go in the city, you can take the highway, do some long distance highway riding, you can go on gravel roads, you can maybe do some soft off-roading, maybe, I didn't try it, but I think you can do a lot. So it's like a Swiss Army knife, which can do everything. It has its price. It's very pricey, I think. 
And now the question is, if you spend so much money, and I spent at the end, when I finished all the modifications, the adventure pack, the touring pack, heated grips, uh, the upholstering of the seat, LED lights, I was at 18,000 euro at the end, which is a lot of money. If you do just adventure riding with some touring, maybe better take an Africa twin. If you just do touring on these kind of roads here or on the Autobahn, maybe take an NC 1100. Both of them have the same DCT, which is amazing, a lot of fun. But for the same price, maybe better in this categories. So yeah, this was my impression. And, and I thought, okay, what am I doing with the XADV? Am I going off-road? No, I was one time maybe on a, on a gravel road, which you saw in my uh, past videos. So not that much, one time in half a year. And then spending so much money for a function that you are not using and I'm more more tourer I like to go on these country roads do a lot of city riding of course because I live in Berlin and sometimes a little bit of autobahn but most of the side country roads and so my decision in the end was okay why spend so much money on a bike that functions you are not using completely I pay for off-roading capabilities that I don't use. Yeah, and so I decided to, to sell the Honda with some tears in my eyes because I really like that because you can have a lot of fun with this bike. The DCT is amazing. It's so dynamic with all the riding modes. You can have a lot of fun. The, the handling on country roads like this, fantastic. 17 inch wheel at the front double disc brakes, um, the chassis, great chassis, the suspension, yeah, even if the road is a little bit bumpy, the suspension is amazing, 150 millimeters of travel. So nothing to say against the x just for my taste and my kind of riding, it wasn't perfect for the money I spent for it. So I sold it, of course, I, I lost some money, like you always do when you spend, but I had a lot of fun half a year, I did some road, tr road trips with it, so at the end I decided to buy a scooter again which fits more to my kind of riding and I bought a BMW C400 GT again. This is my third one already. The first one was crashed in France when I was on a tour to England, I mean back from England. You can see it in my videos on my other channel on Scooteria. The link is on my channel page and the second one I rode for about 2000 Ks until I decided to buy the Honda XADV and I bought it without doing a test ride before which was maybe a dis mistake yes so never buy a bike without doing a test ride it's a very comfortable scooter enough power 34 horsepower which is enough for me low maintenance there's no chain you have to loop you have a belt drive a CVT so easy you can ride up to 20,000 Ks change the belt and that's it and yeah so easy scooter with a good behavior on the street handles very good on country roads it's perfect I'm not a fast rider so I don't go on the highways and high speed and also on these country roads okay I go now I can go about 100k and that's it. I enjoy the ride. I want to sit comfortably. And on this scooter, it's really comfortable. Especially the, the foot position. I'm quite tall, I'm 188 meters and I can put my legs to the front and I sit like on a cruiser. I lean back, this wonderful backrest on the seat is perfect for me. Lean back and enjoy the ride. Easy going. Good handling, suspension of course was better on the Honda, longer suspension travel. This one has 110 at the front, 112 millimeters in the back. The Honda has 150 at the front and in the back, so much longer and you feel it on bumpy roads, but it's okay. Maybe I will change something, I will 
show you in the next videos. Even if it's a quite pricey scooter for a 350, it's about with all the stuff like the display, heated grips, heated seat, connectivity, it's about 9,000 euros. But if you compare it to the Honda, it's half the price because the Honda was at the end 18,000 Ks. And is it worth double the price of a BMW? For me, no, absolutely not. Of course, the DCT, the, the engine, suspension, everything is, is a little bit better than, than on the BMW. But the seating position is great here. Quality-wise, it's perfect. So I decided for me, better spend the money on the BMW, take the money which I left. Of course, I lost a lot, but still something left. And do a nice road trip with my BMW, and this will happen soon. Will be amazing to go on a road trip again with my BMW, which is called Neo. This is Neo 3 already. And if you watch the videos on my other channel, you will find a lot about the BMW C400 GT, but I will of course do a test ride video and a review soon on this channel. I can tell you some of the decision points. First, I mentioned already the price. For me personally, the sitting position is more comfortable. Yeah, it's more relaxed, really like on a scooter, upright arms in a really chilled position. I can lean back a little bit in this comfortable back rest here. Foot to the front, still so relaxed. Engine sound is quite good. It's absolutely okay. I don't know if you can hear it, but the exhaust has a nice grumble, so good sound. Handling is very good. Lifting it up when you are parking it somewhere, super easy. Even if it has 210 kilos, it's really much more easy than on the Honda. In my opinion, the dash is better on the BMW. A little bit more functions and for sure, the navigation is much better. It's also a navigation with arrows but it's much better and gives you the direction to the next turn, the line you have to go, uh, the distance, so you can see much more. So I think the, the dash is better on the BMW. Um, what else? Uh, wind protection, of course, yeah. Uh, I think it's better on the BMW because it's wider. The Honda is quite slim. And if you don't get the wind protectors on the side, you get a lot of wind on your legs and the windscreen the original one was way too small for me storage compartments here on the front much better on the BMW the one on the Honda is it's for nothing I mean you can put a, a small smartphone in it but that's it it's not lockable and there's no USB inside here you have a USB you have a 12 volt socket additional you can put your large smartphone inside, it's locked. And the same on the left side, a bigger one here too. There's a storage compartment on the Honda, which is 22 liters. You can put your helmet inside. The BMW, it's a little bit different. It has a flex case. And if the flex case is up, you cannot put a helmet, not a full face helmet. You can put a open face helmet inside, but it still has a volume of 31 liters so this is nearly 10 liters more than on the Honda. And if you expand the flex case, you have, I think, 46 liters or 45. So much more than on the Honda. So I think I will enjoy this new scooter, new old scooter for me. And if you have any questions uh, about the Honda or the BMW, just write it down in the comments. So that's it for today, the reasons why I sold my Honda XADV and why I bought a new BMW C400 GT. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I see you next week in the next video. If you're riding, ride safe. See you soon. Cheers.